let's go for it. Are we, are we on? Just on the user 10. No, nah, just, on, just on, the, on the YouTube with your permission. Oh, yeah. Right. No <laughs> right. Are we on? Are we on? Yeah, on. Yeah. yeah, red button all recording. Is the red button, is the red button on? That watch me too many comments. All right, then here we go. Uh, thanks for stopping. What's your name? Lee Smith. Lee. Mark. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, good. Yeah. Are you off a bit of shopping there? Yeah, card for me, Mum. Okay. Lee, are you open minded? Yes. Right. Here's the big question, Lee. What do you think happens to you after you die? Oh uh, no. Um That's probably what a lot of people say on the death. <laughs> uh, what happens when I die? I don't know, don't believe. I think you just die. Slides out, worm food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay, right. So I'm gonna appeal to your open mindedness now, right? And I'm gonna come at this from the angle of the Bible, alright? It says it's appointed once for Lee to die, and then comes the judgment. Right. Think courtroom. Yeah. Right. How are you going to do if that's true on your courtroom case? Guilty. Me too. Guilty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you if you're going to stand in front of a judge down here in you know in a, in yeah. Bur or Wolverhampton, you want to know what you're going to be judged by, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? Yes. Leave me two. No. no. Thou shalt not swear. <laughs> Thou not shalt drink. That, that <laughs> have sexual thoughts or something stupid. No, yeah, you're on there, no. you, you're kind of getting there. All right, so let me just take you through a few quickly, just four, all right? I fouled all ten, all right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not in any moral judgments over you. All right, Lee, have you ever told a lie? Yes. Me too. What do you call somebody who tells a lie? A liar. Have you ever stolen anything? Penny sweet. Serious, that is, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what do you call somebody who steals, no matter what the value? Thief. Yeah. All right, he's the one that got me big time. All right, Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust, yeah. you committed adultery with her in your heart. Yeah. Guilty as fact. Me too. One more. Have you ever used God's name as a swear word, like OMG or JC? Or Try not to. But you have? Yeah, that's yeah. blasphemous. You wouldn't use your mum's name as a swear word, would you? No, 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 no. Okay, that's called blasphemy, that's yeah. as you're right. Okay, so, Lee, by your own admission, you told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart. Yeah. And that's only four of the commandments. You can swear, can't you? So you did miss the B word. Blasphemy? No, bastard. Okay, we'll come on to that. Well, yeah. Let's put that to one side. So, if God was to judge you by that standard on, on your court case, Dane, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. how are you going to do? Innocence or guilty? Guilty is fair and. Heaven or hell? I'd like heaven, but I think they'd be better off going to hell. There's more things that go on in hell. If that was true, if hell's a place of eternal torment and fire and it's horrible, if that was true, Lee, would that concern you? Yeah, if it was true, but to be honest, I don't believe in that. I am pretty atheist. That's why we're actually talking to you today. Uh, I am. It's all based on an if, by the way. Yeah. So, if that was the case, it would concern me, you know, and it would, I'd be concerned for you. So I'm going to give you the good news now. Any idea what the good news is? I'm going to heaven. You can be if you listen to this. If you take this to heart, this is priceless. Okay, so 2,000 years ago, when Jesus was being whipped and crucified, spat upon, beaten, he was legally paying your courtroom fine. Yeah. If you were in uh, Wolverhampton Crown Court and you had a stack of speeding tickets or whatever, and the judge says, Lee, you're guilty, you're going down, but somebody came in and said, hold on, judge, I'm going to pay his fine because I love him so much. Yeah. Judge will say, case dismissed, free to go. Yeah. How would you feel? Thankful. Jesus paid your courtroom fine on that cross. When he was nailed up, he said three words. He said, it is finished, which is a legal term for price paid in full. You drop your name in front of that. So the suffering death and the resurrection of Jesus cleared your case completely. So that when you die, when this stops beating, and the, the Bible says, absent from the body, present with the Lord, to those that I say, but we're still going to face the courtroom situation. So you need to know that you're on the right side of the judge down here. Yeah. I wouldn't want you to stand before Jesus as judge, juror, and executor. I want you to stand before him as saviour and hear him say, well done, Lee, come on in. Yeah. Would that be good news? Yes, definitely. Okay, does it make sense? It does make sense, a lot of sense. But you've got to, be you've got to believe... We believe in things we don't see every day. Gravity, yeah. you know, you step in a lift, you trust the cables aren't going to snap, you know. The wolves will win the Europa. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had that? Have you had that? Hopefully you can help. Yeah, you got no chance Thanks, Lee. <laughs> I'll, I'll